Good morning, folks. It's May 14, 2019. It's a Tuesday morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. The air temperature right now is in the mid 40s. The water temperature is 64.3 degrees. That means it's crankbait time for crappie on Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, it's supposed to get up into the 70s today. The wind's supposed to be about five miles per hour. I'm going to see if I can catch a few fish here early this morning and then get back to work. Uh, I should be in jail right now for murder. I came down here Thursday afternoon, first time I've uh, been down trying to crankbait, and I mean I killed them. I killed the crappie, uh, started in this little cove I'm in right now. Most of the bigger fish have spawned out and they've moved out into deeper water. Uh, they're just staging out there. I caught uh, most of the fish about 20 feet deep, 18 to 20 feet deep. And uh, that's what we're going to try today, see if we can catch a few. Uh, some people have asked me uh, in the comments about my boat setup. Will you please show us your boat setup? So I'm going to do that for you. All right, today I'm in my Pantera 2, Bascat Pantera 2. It's powered by an Ultrex uh, trolling motor. I've got it on spot lock right now while I'm doing this. I have a Humminbird Helix 10 and a Humminbird 859 on the bow. I have a Garmin Live Scope ordered for this boat, but it hadn't come in yet. Uh, you've seen me use the Live Scope in my Bascat Jaguar. Um, of course, I've got my camera tripod set up right here in the front. In the back, I have uh, just two trolling racks. These are tight lock uh, trolling racks, T-bars. I'm going to run six rods today. Uh, I'm going to start out with four baits, Bandit 300s, uh, that'll run about 18 to 20 feet deep. I'll show you my lineup today. Uh, that is the sun perch, wild thing, and then in a 200 is chartreuse shad. I'm using my St. Croix tro trolling rods, crankbait rods, which I think are the greatest rods made for trolling. Uh, these are my tournament rods. It's a, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's a PC70 MM, 7 foot medium power. It's actually uh, a crankbait rod. It's designed for crankbaiting. They're seven feet long. Great, great trolling rods. Um, on the other side I've got a Bandit 300 Chartreuse Shad, chrome and blue, and a 200 in chrome and blue. That's basically my setup. I've got half of a uh, double seat uh, setup so I can get my seat back away from the rods a little bit and give me some more room. So on the console of the boat I've got another helix 10 which I put on side imaging I can see these fish out to the side uh, turn the boat to run the crankbaits through them I have an 899 in the dash and I'll be uh, controlling the Ultrex of course with my remote control today so that's my setup uh, let's see if we can catch a few fish Okay, here we go. I'm going to set the cruise control at 1.4. That seems to be where they wanted it the other day, 1.4 to 1.6. We'll just experiment and uh, see what they want. But let's get started. We're out here right now in 36 feet of water. A lot of fish on the side scan. Uh, so let's just, let's get started. I'm just casting these as far as I can to get them down. As you know, I use the rotation method. I always throw out to the side and then rotate my rods over. It's 
easier that way, keeps them from getting hung up. All right, it's 638. There's a fish on, that didn't take very long. Got one on the outside out there too. It's gonna to be another one of those days. I was so busy the other day, I had six rods all uh, with fish on them or laying out in the boat. Sun perch. Natural born enemy to the crappie. Not the size we want. We started off the same way the other day. Little ones at first, and then all of a sudden the bigger spawned out females started biting. Little bitty fish there. Let's see what's on this one. Another little one. You know, that's actually, these little bitty fish, I don't think have spawned yet. That little fish is still full of eggs. Boy, that's little. That's on the wild thing. Okay. Don't even have them all out yet. Get that one out there. Let's uh, get off of there. Let's rotate. There. Both of those were on the band at 300, so that tells me they're wanting these baits a little deeper. I'll be getting rid of these 100s or this 100 and this 200 before long. They don't bite them. We got them all out. There's fish. It feels like a little better fish. Come to this. Oh, yeah, that's good fish there. Real good fish. Yeah, nice one. Oh, come here, come here. Very nice fish. Now that's on a 200, so that bait was running a little shallower. Chartreuse shad and a 200 color. That's a nice fish, let's see. That fish is just under 13 inches long. I'm gonna keep a few. Okay, I'll get out my little trusty 15 fish stringer. That way I know exactly how many fish I have. And I don't have to dig through the live well to get them out. Just flatlining today, running them right behind the boat. Not using planer boards today because these fish I think we're going to be deep in that 20 foot range and and so the boat doesn't really spook them You can run these baits right behind the boat Now if these fish were up higher and I was trying to catch them shallower I'd put planer boards out and get these baits out away from the boat so the boat doesn't spook them as bad All right, there's a fish right on the power pole
That's crappie. Wild thing. You make my heart sing. That one's not very big, but that's well, ten and a half inches. I'll keep it. I'll run into the no wake buoy. There's fish. <clears throat> Been dragging that one for a while, hadn't I? Little fish. I tell you, you miss so much when you're turning and trying to control the boat and put fish in the live well. The, I go back and edit these videos and I watch them and I think, now see that little bitty fish that's full of eggs. These small ones have not spawned yet, I don't think. But anyway, I'll watch the video and edit it and I'll think, get that one, get that one. I just can't keep up. I love these uh, St. Croix rods. They're perfect for this flat line fishing. And actually, they're a great uh, rod for trolling crankbaits behind those mini planer boards. I think they're OR38s, I'm not sure. The little awesome crappie board that uh, my fishing partner, Tommy Scarless, helped design. Uh, with Nick and Bruce DeShano, they're great boards for trolling crappie, and these rods handle those just great. If uh, you go to the larger boards, St. Croix's got a heavier trolling rod that's, that's beautiful for those bigger boards, but I'll, uh, I'll try to do a video on the uh, planer boards later. And I'll show you those other St. Croix rods. They're wonderful rods. I'm running eight pound high vis line on these reels. And these are Team Daiwa reels I've had for 30 plus years. Uh, I love these Daiwa reels. You've heard me talk about them in some other videos. You just can't hardly beat them. You can't wear them out. Believe me, there are hundreds of thousands of casts on each one of these and they just, they just keep working. All right, I gotta make a turn back here so I'll probably get a fish on about four rods. Oh, there's one. That's a better crappie, I think. No, foul hooked. Sun perch. Let's see. That fish is ten and a quarter inches long. Doesn't look like it, but I'm trying to fill out a limit real quick this morning so I can get back to work before my partners get mad at me. So I'm gonna put it on the string. Okay, now don't send me any comments and say you're breaking the law, you're breaking the law, you're only allowed three rods in Missouri. It's true that the regulations say you can only fish with three rods unless any rods over three are labeled with your name and address or your name and your conservation number. And every one of these rods, I've taken a paint pen and I have my name and conservation number on them. So, well, fish there must have been following it. And sometimes the fish will follow these baits in the slightest movement. Oh, that's a big old catfish, I think, or bass. But if you turn the boat or pick up the rod, it triggers a strike. It's gonna be a mess. Oh, good, I think it came on, no, yep, yeah. no. <laughs> uh, it's a white bass, foul hooked white bass. 
white bass are up shallower that's a 200 uh, quit now these things will get you but at any rate uh, the Missouri regs if you have your baits labeled you can fish more than three rods in fact then it becomes just a hook limitation and in most lakes in Missouri there's a hook limitation of 33 hooks there's no rod limitation if they're labeled on the uh, Mississippi River you're limited to two poles unless they're labeled but there's a 50 hook limit so I'm legal but I get a lot of comments I think mon mainly from people from out of state that uh, don't recognize or don't realize our regulations, but they'll accuse me of violating the law and I assure you I am not. I'm gonna take the 100 off. I'm gonna put a Strike King 3XD. On there, it looks sort of like that chartreuse shad I don't know what color this is by the package they uh, they run a little deeper I think than the bandit 300s actually there's fish that's on that deeper 3xd Let's see. Ten and a quarter, they're all running about the same size. Not very big, but good eaters. There's a fish. Well, it's 200. They've got me confused. They're hitting them all. 200, 300. It's that 200 chartreuse shad. Bad crappie. There's a the fish. Look at that, we're in 72 feet of water right now out here in the mouth of this cove. There's another one on here, unless I've got them hung up. This is a good fish, I don't know if it's a crappie. No, yeah, no, here I go, my yep, nope, yep again. No, if it's a crappie, it's a good one. It's a crappie, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, nice one. I got it all hung up. Seventy-five feet of water, twenty feet deep. Made a mess of me. That's a good fish for Lake of the Ozarks. I think that fish has still got eggs in it. I don't think it's spawned yet. That fish is 13 inches long and I'm not gonna kill that fish. Got a little blood on it from it being in its tongue, but that fish will live. I'm gonna let it go. All right, I'm dragging a fish. I got a mess. It's what we call a genuine crag quagmire. Got one on that one too. They're out here deeper in the mouth of this thing. 
it's a decent fish here too we're gonna keep that one but I'm gonna see what's on this one come on up before you get in all these other lines no you're just gonna have to get them all tangled up aren't you I don't know if you can see back here or not. Ah, it's gone. Shoot, I messed around. Messed around with it. I think we'll go back through that area again. Let me get this fish in the live well. Good. Got itself off. Show you tail. Let's see, we've got one here I can get back out. Well, I'm trying to get a mess. That's on that 3XD. Call me a fool, but as soon as I get all my mess squared away, I'm going to turn around and go through that area again. There's another one. Come on up to the top. There you go, that's a good one. There's some good fish out here in this mouth of this cove and deeper water. There's a black crappie, first black we've caught today. Nice one. The old sun perch. Nice fish. 12 inches. There's a fish. Boy, this little area right through here is holding some fish. Come up to the top. Stay up there now. that sun perch again I'll tell you these little little ones are eating that thing I don't know those are well that fish is ten and a quarter inches long it doesn't look that big I'll make a nice fillet not full of eggs Making a turn. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. There you go. It looks like a decent fish there. Oh, yeah. We'll keep that one. On the old natural born enemy to the crappie, the sun perch. They just can't stand it. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Let's see. That's 12 and a half incher. That's a better fish. There's fish. Right out here on the end of this point out here. They're staging up. Oh, that's a nice fish, too. There's another one over there. Hot spot. I'm not going to let this one get away. Well, 3XD. Which one was it? Was it this one? Yep. No? Is it gone? Uh, 
I think it's gone. No, it's there. Boy, that fish did not want to come up. All right, that's a keeper too. Any more takers? Yeah, my rare turn. I'm gonna run into another boat. Trying to charge up my remote control and catch fish and turn and fight the boat wakes. It's all good. Hey, that's on that 3XD green tomato. I just put that on. Okay. See if I can keep from stepping on my remote. Is that a fish? Yep. How long has that been on there? Decent one, too. Yeah, nice crow. Oh, it's barely hooked, I think. Be lucky to get it in. I'd be getting the net if I was in a tournament. Oh, that's a nice black crappie there. Nice black crappie. That sun perch, I <laughs> can't stand it. No perch allowed. Nice black. See what it measures. Eleven and a half. I tell you, I'm just not seeing the fish back in this uh, cove like I did Thursday. I think these fish are moving uh, clear on out of here, out more toward the main lake, migrating out to even that deeper water. They're just not in here like they were. I'm gonna turn around and go back out there. If that's where they wanna be, that's where I'll go. Oh, is that fish? Made a little turn. Trigger to strike. That rod speeds up when I turn. That's a decent fish. Wild thing. Wild thing. You know, just just when you think you got them figured out. Oh, I got to get out in the deep water. Then they bite. Made a turn. That bait would have speeded up. So maybe they wanted a little faster. Maybe just the turn triggered it. Just when you think you're smart, you're really not. I'll take that one. Oh, there's fish on the turn. I think that's a decent fish. Wild thing. Little 10 inch fish. I'll keep it. There's fish. Oh, that feels like a pretty decent fish. No. Yeah. Yeah. The old chrome and blue. I'll tell you, that's a great bait on this lake. And I've been wondering where it's been all day. Hadn't been in play very much. That's a great crankbait for crappie on this lake.
Okay, so that's the limit. Not a bad morning, a couple of hours. I'm gonna take these, go clean them up, and go to work. It's 8.35. Thanks for being with me. It's not as hot and heavy as it was last Thursday, but wasn't a bad morning, actually. We caught quite a few fish. I released uh, several smaller fish, some females. But uh, not too bad a day, uh, morning. So thanks for being with me. I hope if you're not a subscriber that you will subscribe. Hit the like button below if you enjoyed the video. Hit the bell if you want to be uh, reminded of future videos. I'm going to be doing some more. And if you would, uh, please pray for my fishing partner, Tommy Scarless. He's in the hospital. He's got a brain tumor. Uh, he's struggling, and he needs your prayers. A lot of people praying for him, pulling for him. I'd like for you to do the same. Thanks for being with me.